Well, welcome back to Contrastly. My name's Simon Plant, and today we're going to be in Lightroom using the new panoramic stitching feature. Now, I say this is new. It's been out uh, probably a few weeks now, maybe even just over a month. Um, but I've used uh, a couple of the new features in the the new edition of Lightroom CC quite a lot. I've had quite a few jobs on. And this is the job I did in Scotland. And um, I decided to um, shoot some panoramics. And the reason I shoot panoramics um, in my work is that I tend to don't like to do uh, too many wide angle shots using sort of 28 or 20 four mil lenses I prefer to use slightly longer lenses so if I want to get a little bit more width in any landscape pictures for instance then the alternative for me if there's not too many people in shot um, depending on the subject matter um, I can zoom in slightly to the preferred focal lengths for instance this image of these trucks I've photographed on a 50 mil lens and then just shoot another picture alongside it and then I get that little bit extra width in the picture that I want without having to use a wide angle lens so that's the reason I use it so um, when I shot these I um, d decided to use the new features in Lightroom which had just been launched and I've used it a lot in the last uh, few few weeks uh, both the HDR feature that's in the new Lightroom and the panoramic we're going to discuss the panoramic feature today and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make great uh, pitch panoramic pictures within Lightroom and having the benefit of a raw file so I have two images here which was shot as a panoramic and I'm going to just go through the processing of these. These are raw files, okay, you can do this with JPEGs um, but the, one of the biggest benefits of using um, Lightroom now for panoramics is that uh, you can combine the pictures you want, uh, raw files, and it will output it as another raw file. So you've got that great flexibility um, of uh, that raw files give you. So that is a huge benefit uh, for those of you who are working in raw. Um, so here what we're going to do, we're going to process uh, one of these images and then transfer the settings to the next image. Now be aware um, when you come to process this as a as a uh, panoramic, it will uh, drop a lot of the adjustments you make. So, for instance, it's a waste of time going in and adding a gradient filter, or using the spot spotting or healing brush, uh, spot removal tool or, or healing. Um, so, don't bother. Okay, so you you do that. Um, after you've combined the images into a panoramic, you can come in and obviously adjust the color. Uh, balance the temperature of your images and stuff that will translate across um, and obviously your exposure adjustments will as well I've already done these um, also your camera calibration uh, if you want to um, pick a profile like landscape or a neutral profile etc that will also uh, from what I've experimented with carry over as well but not everything will so once you've processed your picture you can obviously select the the corresponding image and then just sync those up and make sure everything's set and synchronized and then it's very simply a matter and we just go to the library module get these up um, of selecting both right click and then you want to go to uh, photo merge and pick out there's two options HDR or panoramic uh, panorama uh, just click panorama that will open a new dialog box and from here you can set the auto option and that theme means that Lightroom will select the best projection the way it puts it together for you or if you want to you can just click through these and these like I said just slightly different ways that uh, Lightroom will produce the panoramic so there's uh, spherical cylindrical which is giving me a little bit more uh, if you look at the sky a little bit more height to the image which is quite nice uh, and this perspective which uh, changes the perspective so there's no right or wrong uh, way just have a look every image is slightly different uh, for this one I think I'm going to click on spherical um, and auto crop will automatically just trim the image up for you and get rid of any of the white uh, excess image so Normally, leave it on auto projection, but have a little play around. I'm going to select cylindrical, a bit of a mouthful, and then just simply click merge. And what will happen now, it'll create the panorama for you and it will add it to the bottom of your collection.
okay so sometimes you'll you'll watch the bar progress in it'll finish and you won't see where the image is it's normally right at the bottom but it depends how you've got your um your uh, lightroom catalog set up so if i now navigate down to the bottom and there it is okay so double click on that you will notice it's renamed it uh with pano.dng in the uh, title if it's a hdr it'll it'll title it hdr.dng so that's a good way of uh finding out uh which ones you've stitched if you can't see it visually straight away um so now we can come back in um go to develop module and do all the lovely things that we want to to the image you can see my color balance is still held true my exposure is held true um lens corrections hasn't because obviously it's changed the uh the way the image is presented Presented. Uh, so you can try and click on that and it may well still able to correct that for you should it being a raw file it should still pick up the lens profile I presume um, level on that you it obviously hasn't translated that which makes sense so you could try leveling stuff up but be aware that you do sometimes lose your automatic cropping off there so let's just leave that off for now uh, might not be able to do it now so I'm, so I might have to recrop that it's not a big deal so be aware no point wasting your time doing lots of adjustments to the raw files if you're going to stitch because a lot of them you're going to lose so let's um, come back in let me just trim this up a little bit like so but what I love like I said what I love about this um, is that uh, there's a lot you know Photoshop does a great job of um, of stitching but the power of this if you're shooting raw is that you still got a raw file now that you can do a lot of adjustments to before going into Photoshop if that in, if that's indeed what you're going to do um, or if you don't really uh, use Photoshop that much if you're just going to come in here and uh, make your adjustments here you've got a raw file ready to be adjusted with all the benefits uh, that raw gives you uh, in terms of quality um, from uh, from the uh, camera files so um, I can just bring a few adjustments here but you're gonna get a general gist but uh, that is generally uh, how you create a panoramic within Lightroom um, using the raw file format which I think is absolutely brilliant and the same with the HDR um, that is a really good uh, good function as well I've been shooting a lot of interiors just recently and the HDR function has been uh, really good and maybe we'll do a video on that maybe next month we'll have a word with uh, my editor um, and uh, see if that's uh, a good a good idea or not so there you have it very quick video very simple to do and uh, hope you have a bit of fun with it until next time catch you later